Justin the Fourth Something's hanging out over here. How you okay. feeling, buddy? Uh, I feel good, you know what I mean? I feel, feel like I did a little bit better, but you know what I mean? Got the devil, so. Shit, man. A rear naked choke, first round. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. I didn't even know what the fuck happened. He got on top of him and was just like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. And then boom, it's done. Yeah. How did yeah. you feel, man? That must have felt amazing. I, it did feel amazing, but, uh, you know what I mean? I, uh, in my head, I, I thought I was going to do a little bit better when with the striking, but, uh, you know what I mean? A win's a win, you know, uh, but, uh, Yo, he took him down like it was easy work, man. I was, I, he went in there, he did what he had to do. He brought him down to the ground and finished him in the first round, which you said you were going to do. He yeah. said you were going to finish him in the first round. Well, I said I was going to finish him with ground and pound, but uh, I pounded him the next one. Yeah, so, you know, damn, so, man. So a bit I tell you what, it must feel good now. You're sitting here, now you're through. Look at this, you see what's going on over here. Any thoughts on anything else? Did you get a chance to see any of the other fights going on? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they have a TV back there, and uh, they, you can watch all the fights that are going on, like where you're going to run up and stuff. So, uh, it, was, uh, you know, it was real good, real good. You know what I mean? You got some uh, Joe Lo Lozon's back there, and then Greg Rebello's back there, so you can have uh, chat, chat with them. That's cool, man. I tell you what, there's a lot of people walking around over here at CES 46. It's a lot of fun. I see just beat the shit out of some guy. Came out here and just, just comes on the MMA holes like that. Easy work. Yeah, yeah, it was easy. I, you know what I mean? I, I thought I thought it was gonna go a certain way, uh, but he, you know, he gave me he gave me the the sloppy kick that uh, um, you know we were timing it. He was still a sloppy kick. He take him down. He went for a guillotine, a guillotine, but it wasn't tight because like if, if you've never been choked by Nick Newell, like like it's not tight at all. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he was, I was able to get to the side, take him down. Uh, we're going for that arm trap. He kind of gave me his back and took put those hooks in. And he wasn't fighting to get out of them. Um, I was kind of surprised. So, you know what I mean? Just set, got my bearings. Um, he left his head open. I hit him with one hard shot. Felt him, felt him like go oomph. Then I locked the uh, grape behind his legs, put the, the body triangle in, and uh, you know, sucked the choke in. Man, I tell you what, it was quick. I mean, it was like I blinked and it was done. And it's funny, you, you walked around the cage afterwards, and it, you look at, i never seen someone just beat up someone and, be, and just be, look disappointed. You actually look disappointed. Yeah, I was, yeah I was, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I wanted to go a certain way in my head, yeah. and it didn't go that way. So, you know what I mean? I'm a, when, especially in the cage, I'm a perfectionist. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, want, I want things to go the way I plan. Yeah, I know they're not, but, uh, you know, it, it's definitely that, that perfectionist mindset that keeps sure. me going, keeps me, keeps me motivated and training to, to get better and, you know, go in there and put another show on the next time. I tell you what, man, I'm looking over here, everyone's, the chat room's going crazy over here. Easy work, Justin, you take that neck. Uh, Chris Horny, you can tell, I'm fucking ripped. <laughs> Anytime Justin's here, I'm just erect, I'm completely erect. Uh, he has the face of a young Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> Jay, what are you talking about? Jay looks like actually Kanye West. Oh, okay. kind of uh, Chris, the MMA holds, uh, curse is broken. Now, okay. Here's the thing, the big joke with the MMA holes is every time someone comes on, they lose. Now it got broken, it's not just with Justin, Justin's won before after being on the yeah, MMA yeah, holes. Yeah. So Justin's immune to the curse, but there was a guy here, Michael Taylor, who was, who was on before and everyone's like, oh, this poor kid is going to lose now, he came on the MMA holes. Maybe the curse is broken. Yeah, hey, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the curse breaker, you know. <laughs> uh, oh. Fight going on now. Yeah, there's a fight. Yeah, we're, we're two Yentes over here. Well, two guys are beating the shit out of each other. This is live on Axis TV. I can't show you what's going on over there because someone lost their mouthpiece. But um, it's crazy, man. I, I can't believe that. I just can't believe I just saw Justin went in there. And every time he goes in, it just gets easier and easier for him. But, like, what is next now? Like, where do you go from here? Uh, yeah, just, just go up, man. Right? Just, just, just wherever they put in front of me, uh, you know, uh, do my training and, and, and take them out and move to the next one. You know, I mean, my goal is to, to, to be the best that I can be, and you know, when I step in that cage, I, I, I want to, you know, full heartedly be the best that I can be. Um, you know, whoever they, whoever they put in front of me, I just, just roll through them and go to the next one. So, okay. I mean, now how look are you? How quick are you looking to get back in there? Um, you know, uh, it's like the time frame, like it's close to the holidays, and you know, I, I would like to, if I, you know, if I could get a, another one in, but you know, if not, it's still no sweat off my back. Cause, you know what I mean? I fought three times this year. Um, you know, like that's if you average that's three every, uh, you know, every one every four months. Um, but you know, I had two like within two weeks, and then I had this one. But uh, you know, if, if it's the right number, is the right person, I'll take it. But if not, no, no sweat off my back. I tell you what, you gotta be hungry now, though. You're, like now, it's like it's just like another day at the office every time you get yeah, in there. Yeah, I mean that's and that's the, my, my mindset. I have to go in there. You know, it's not nothing. You know, to, to go in there and fight. It's actually work. You know, what I mean, I'm getting, I'm going in there working to get paid. And, yeah, and, you yeah. know, the, the, if you think about it, like 
hourly, the hourly rate, I made a lot of money right there, like sure. per hour. So now how does this work? Now I'm not gonna ask numbers, but how does it work? You're on the main card, first round finish, do you get a bonus or anything? Uh, like, that, that, or? like CS, they don't do bonuses. I wish they should they would, because yeah. that would be pretty cool. But um, you know, they don't do bonuses. Uh yeah, it's a flat rate, you know, you get paid to fight and you get paid to win. If you win you get another another portion of it. So um, you know. Now I'm, I'm looking for the, the bigger paychecks because, you know, that's the slot fights in a row, you know, so... Uh, yeah, they got it wrong here on the card. It's just three and one. It's yeah. It's five, it's, it's, it's freaking four, five and one. Five and one, yeah. So, you know what I mean? It's all right, it's all right. You know, let's go on the this is paper. You know? Yeah. The cage, cage always tells the truth, so, you know. <laughs> well, it did. I felt bad for for his opponent, that was that was a rough one. <laughs> it was a rough showing. I Thank think you, he might have retired. Really, really. <laughs> oh yeah, they, they love uh, they love freaking uh, this Till, Darren Till. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good? They Darren Till, love he's him. a good guy, man. Like, like his, his skill, like he's just phenomenal. Like, you, know, you think he's a real deal? Yeah, he's a real deal. Yeah. He's a real deal. You know, he's a big 170. Uh, he he uh, is like phenomenal. Like, it's, like I would like to see him in the Yeah. Oh a, yeah. That's it. He, he was calling that one out. Um, but that just type of style, you know, you got that karate, that Muay Thai, they're both excellent strikers. And, you know, just to see that dynamic of yeah. what's going to happen, you know, so, you know, like... Well, see, Thompson has a tough task in handling Masvidal, too, so... That's yeah, Masvidal, yeah, Masvidal's that bulldog. Yeah. Like, he, like, you got to put him out for yeah. our yard. I mean, he's fighting Garland, so... I gotta say hey to my girlfriend. All right, yeah, let's do thing. Thank you for coming by. No Appreciate problem, it. Man. Justin the Fort Sumter over there getting another win. Five. Five of them things. He's just fucking collecting wins.